Hi guys, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to load first record in first target and second record in second target using Informatica Power Center. So this is the video lecture 57 of this Informatica class series. So let's see how to do that. So first you are going to create one new mapping. In underscore first and to second record. Thereafter, going to use their EMP table. So let's drag EMP inside there. And the next is going to show you the record inside the EMP. So this comes from Escort. And now you can see this is the record inside there. So at this place, here you can see first record 7782 clerk manager this all going to load into the first target and 7839 this record going to load into the another target so here for this one going to use their uh, sequence generator transformation sequence generator transformation and thereafter uh, what exactly we need to do inside the sequence generator transformation here going to or uh, check this reset property and here click on this apply ok apply ok and if I go there so going to take one filter transformation so filter transformation and here so selecting next file and current file this two selecting inside there and here selecting this all and now let's take there one target so currently going to take one target and uh, selecting this all. Thereafter, let's uh, save that mapping first and opening the workflow manager. So workflow manager and uh, here let's uh, take one session and that's our first second record. And here we need to set some properties mapping here sq emp that's come from escort and uh, the next is this dummy that come from and here enabling normal option and uh, here truncate and then after sequence generator transformation you can see the property Tra filter i did not specify any condition inside there so then after let's take the link task and now Save that and start the task there. So I start the task and now you can see this run and succeeded. And if I go and here let's uh, check the preview data. So this come from HR. And now you can see there. So first or uh, this for. So first. Or uh, that's what next value and current value. So next value is now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or uh, this or uh, display total number of rows are fourteen. So that fourteen is so display. So here you can see next value call one and current value call two. So thereafter, if I run the session again, then going here or uh, this run and succeeded. Now let's uh, check the output. So here, giving, so you can see the same uh, sequence number that's come there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, till 14, 14 rows is there, so 14 rows that's displaying. So from this, I want to filter this so here, first and second record. So first sending, first record sending first to a target and second record this, this sending into another target. So what I'm trying to do there, so let's remove this filter. I don't need to, to filter transformation to get the output here going to take one router transformation so inside the router transformation selecting only next val next val and uh, the next is let's select this all and thereafter inside the router transformation going to create two group so two group here that's first for first record and here this for second so giving the name first and second 
then after the next is here we need to specify the condition inside there so this is a port here you can see next while that's come there so let's use next while so next while when the value is 1 so this go to the first uh, target and when the value of the next while 2 so this go to the second target so this is the condition inside there then after let's apply ok and to uh, let's make that bigger so first here closing and making the size bigger so this here now they after let's this is the first target or uh, selecting or uh, this here next value is not required there so let's select and stabilize the link and going to take the another target and selecting this all the columns and here second target that's done save that mapping is valid then after let's do the refresh refresh and save the session now let's, let's start the task then you can see all this run and succeeded let's check the output inside the first target so here you can see 7782 that's coming there and this all values you can compare with this so here you can see 7782 clock manager 7782 clock manager this all that's come there okay so this is the first let's check about to the second target preview data and here let's give the password so second target there is a problem okay i think i didn't given their truncate option so this loading their previous record so inside the second target so this here truncate option is enable let's enable there so going to change normal and now here truncate option so with the help of this this delete the record first and load into the target next new record always load into the target so start the task then you can see this succeeded thereafter let's uh, check the record inside the second target giving the password here you can see 7839 king president this come there so let's compare with this so here you can see 7839 king president null or 10 this value that's come there okay so this is the second record displaying into the second target so this is the way we can here you know, load first record into first target and the second record into the second target so inside the sequence generator transformation you can set the properties no need to change anything only enable the reset property so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you